Today I want to share a very interesting thing with you about how to access heaven's doors or any closed door. We talk about the heaven as being a place where God lives and to enter his presence there are different secrets or keys that we can use. If I want to enter a house I need a key maybe a real key to enter a house but did you know there are keys that I can enter into God's presence I read in Psalm 100 I must enter his gates with a key I can come into his courts with a key I wonder if you can remember what that key is yes let us enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise now I read in the Bible about three different looking keys. The one is in Revelation 5 verse 8 to 10. There's that beautiful story of the vision that John saw. And when he saw in this vision there was a lamb sitting on a throne and there were 24 elders and the beings that were with them. And they all had something in their hands. I wonder if you can remember what that is. They had a golden bowl in their hands and they had golden harps a golden bowl and a golden harp now this is not a real harp and it's not a real golden bowl but what did they do with a harp you think I believe that David and all his friends played music on the harp and it said that they took the golden bowls the golden bowls were filled with incense that is sweet smelling spices that were burning and that was a beautiful flavor unto God the golden bowls with incense the incense was the prayer of the Saints so every time I pray unto God it smells nice to him and he loves to listen to my prayers and in the same way it says that they had the golden balls and they played on their harps and they were all very sad because no one was able to open the seals there were seven seals on a scroll a scroll is a big roll of paper and they couldn't open the scrolls and they say who is worthy and they couldn't find anyone worthy to open the scrolls and or to open the seals of the scroll and then they said we found someone that is worthy to open the seals of the scroll and that's the lamb which refers to Jesus who sits on the throne and they all played with their harps singing the song worthy is the lamb you are worthy for you have redeemed us unto God from every tribe and tongue and every people and every nation isn't that wonderful and then I read again in Psalm 8 verse 2 that God says he chooses the praises of the children to silence the enemy but I'm not very sure why but he says when children praise him the enemy is silenced and he doesn't have anything to say I learned from Hebrews 4 verse 12 that God says the Word of God is strong and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword now I've got a sword here and a two-edged sword means both of the sides of the sword are very sharp and God says that is the Word of God that can cut and that can resist the enemy when we fight against him and in Psalm 149 verse 6 it says they have the high praises of God in their mouth and the two-edged sword in their hands so there are three keys the first key is the harp it's the praises by which I have access to enter into God's presence the second key is the bowl what was that again what was the key of the bowl to enter God's presence is to pray and to ask things from him and to intercede and our prayers are like the incense or the sweet smelling savor that God smells and the third key here is a sword this key looks like a sword this key is to use the Word of God and to proclaim it over the nations so today is a very special day if you want to pray for the nations you can use all three of these keys to enter or to ask God to open the heavens and move his hand over the nations 
I think we should take a scripture verse and then we can sing it, we can pray it and we can proclaim it. And then maybe we can just sing from the heart some praise songs unto God. And it's not always necessary to know a song. Just like the people in Revelation 5 verse 8, you can just say, You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, O Lord. You are holy. You are holy, you are holy, you are holy, O Lord. You are holy, you are holy, you are holy, O Lord. When you want to enter into God's presence, and see God's hand move. You should sing either with or without music. Just from your heart, high praises to God, giving glory to Him. And He says, if I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto Him. And I believe He's going to call nations and people who don't know Him and stir their hearts through this praise and worship. Now we can take a scripture, for example, Isaiah 60 verse 2 and 3. It says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and great darkness will cover the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you, and His glory shall be seen upon you, and the Gentiles shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your glory. So maybe we can pray this over the nations today, Isaiah 60 verse 2. We can say, Lord, we know that darkness is upon the earth. We know that great darkness is upon the nations, especially upon the unreached people groups. But Lord, you have promised you will arise upon those nations. You will look upon them with favor and your glory will be seen upon them. And then the Gentiles, even the unbelievers, and you can say the name of the unreached nation. You can say the people from Mali, the people from Yemen who don't believe in you yet. They will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your glory. Thank you, Lord, that we can pray this scripture over the nations. So what was the first key? The first key was praise. The second key was prayer. And the third key was proclamation. So let's take a scripture like Habakkuk, Habakkuk 2 verse 14 that says, The whole earth will be covered with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. So now we can proclaim it. Lord, I proclaim over South Africa that your knowledge will cover the whole earth. It will cover the schools, it will cover the houses, it will cover especially those who are unreached. They will get to know about Jesus, they will reach out to Him, they will ask for Him. So we proclaim this scripture over South Africa, my own region, I proclaim it over the Jews from Israel that they will start to see the truth and that your knowledge will spread over the whole earth. Whenever I go to the sea, I will remember that God says, the knowledge of the glory of the Lord will cover the whole earth. Isn't that wonderful? Are you going to use your keys? And we will see God's hand move in our country but also in the whole world to reach the unreached people.